if you have great potential and you are not taking action on it, it tells me two things. That what you're doing doesn't matter shit to you. That's number one. And two, that you have chosen to believe that you have great potential because it's a nice comfort zone to have. No one likes to believe that they don't have potential. I have always been told that I have great potential. From teachers in school to bosses at work, everyone has told me so. And I don't ever seem to live up to that potential. How do I know what the gap is? So uh, question on potential and uh, interesting situation where the outsiders are always telling that there is potential. But the person making this question to us is telling and confessing that he has never felt that he has lived up to it. So let's hear, Chetan, your thoughts on this. Someone else is telling me that I have great potential is to me a statement which doesn't mean anything, right? One, of course, you can say that there's someone experienced on the other side and can notice a bright spark in you or something, but that's your way of pleasing yourself. I don't think the person's trying to tell you that. If you have great potential and you are not taking action on it, it tells me two things, that what you're doing doesn't matter shit to you. That's number one. And two, that you have chosen to believe that you have great potential because it's a nice comfort zone to have. No one likes to believe that they don't have potential. What are people really telling you? Uh, when you are hearing words from another side, let's say a teacher or a boss especially, telling you that you have great potential, it's one of two things, that you are not working as hard enough or you're being slightly lazy in your work. As a result, a positive way of saying it is that you have great potential, so why don't you pull up your thoughts? I don't think they mean potential in the word potential sense. They mean that you could do a lot more than you are currently doing. You could put in a lot more effort that you're currently putting, and that's not potential. That's just called plain simple feedback is what you're getting. Don't confuse it with potential. I don't think anyone has a right to tell you what potential there is in you apart from you. And the reason you're not working hard enough, and I'm going on the other side of the feedback that you're getting, the reason you're probably not working hard enough as to what your teachers and bosses are saying is because you're simply not passionate about whatever it is that you're doing. So really take a look at what is it that you're missing out as a result of other people having to tell you that you have potential. There's only one situation in life that that happens. And that happens when you're not doing ideally what you would love to do. And when you're not doing what you would love to do, you can't be working hard. You know, Chetan, this also reminds me of one discussion that we had in some other scenario where we were speaking about this potential and eventually this potential is some way a definition of my vision for you or let's say my own desire for you or my own expectation of you. Yeah. So in a way, it is just a vision to a vision or an image to an image talking. I feel I have A potential and someone may feel I have B potential for me but and whatever. A simple thing. When do we tell our kids you have great potential, you can come first, second or third? When do we do that? Is when they're when, looking around and not working as hard as we would want them to. Yeah. Right? There's no other reason. So the same thing's happening, I think, with this particular person that other people are seeing a lack of effort and pointing it out. But I think what this person really needs to be pointing in the direction of what is it that you're spending your time on that you're not having fun doing and that people have to point that out. If you were having fun doing it, you'd be working too. Really, the potential is what I would say. Absolutely.